And we're back here at Boom and Bust. I'm your host, Tony Clement, here with the Honorable Vic Fidelli. He is Ontario's Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade. And I should say, the Member of Provincial Parliament for Nipissing. I haven't said that yet. We always like to know where our folks are from. So, uh, and I know you know that community very well, Vic. Uh, you just came back from, uh, so people don't maybe realize this, Farnborough is a large air, air, uh, airplane and aerospace uh, sort of trade show uh, just outside of London, UK. I, I was there a couple of times as Canada's industry minister. So let's talk about some other industries. Obviously, aerospace is something that you think Ontario can be a leader on. Talk a little bit about Farnborough, the, the air show, and, and promoting Ontario's aerospace industry. Well, we've got uh, 39,000 employees who work in the aerospace sector. There are only five countries in the entire planet uh, who actually manufacture a commercial airplane and Canada is one of them. And so that's very exciting. It, uh, it means we are one of the world leaders in Ontario. We make Bombardier's uh, Global 7500, the Global Express. Uh, we have a couple hundred aerospace companies who make parts. We are one of the world's leaders in landing gear, uh, manufacturing and design and engineering. Uh, we have 40 different aerospace programs that are held uh, throughout our uh, 20 uh, university and colleges that specialize in that. So we put out about 50,000 STEM grads every year. So we, uh, we have all that's needed for a company to build an aircraft from end to end uh, and or any part that's required. And uh, do you see that expanding in the future? Are, are there some uh, good trade opportunities for us there? I do, but I think this one will take a little longer. Uh, certainly aerospace uh, aviation, if you will, uh, that was severely hit uh, mm. during the, uh, uh, the pandemic. And I think there's still a long way to go to recover. And so a lot of projects were on hold. I still see them on hold, um, but they know that Ontario is continuing to work at lowering the costs and when they're ready will be uh, uh, even better uh, suited for them. So when you were in uh, London, Farnborough and, uh, and then Brussels, Belgium, uh, what, what did you say, what, what's the value proposition you're trying to impart to uh, potential businesses, potential investors about investing in Ontario? Um, we picked up on their comment about it being a real sea of tranquility. So we talked about you need to be in Ontario because it's stable. We have the trained professionals, the, a steady stream that will come and work for you. We have, uh, uh, we talk about the value of our dollar, of course. We talk about our um, health care system. Uh, a lot of people around the world do not realize that if you fell down and broke your ankle, you can walk into any hospital, show your OHIP card and walk out without you know, having to make a payment. Right. And we explain to them how that's advantageous to them. Um, uh, and so we talk about the, the ecosystem. In, in, in the case of Farnborough, we talked about the ecosystem that we've created end to end for aerospace so that no matter what you do, you're in a you're in a grouping of companies that is familiar uh, and that you will you will not be a stranger uh, in a strange business in a strange land. Now, uh, just just today, there was an interesting announcement by your colleague, uh, the Honorable Monty McNaughton, who's been on our program about Ontario wanting to take a little bit more control over immigration. Uh, just to get the right mix of people with the for the right jobs that are needed. Yeah, do you what What are your thoughts on that? Well, I agree entirely. I can tell you. I'll put it in as you know the words that I think best describe it. You know, when you we want the same deal as Quebec. That that's what I would say to you. Uh, in Ontario uh, and the rest of the provinces, other than Quebec, you have an allotment of uh, uh, immigrants that you're allowed from the federal government, but they're they're all put in silos, immigration of uh, employment, or this one is a student, all of the different categories, investment. Quebec, here's your allotment, do what you want with them. And you know, it's a hell of a better deal than the rest of us get. Uh, we're, we're limited to 9,700 uh, out of the hundreds of thousands we get, 9,700 are limited in the category. 
uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, employment and investment that we need. And that should be 90,000, not mm -hmm. 9,000. Uh, Vic Fideli is our guest today. He's Ontario's Minister of Economic Development, Job Creation and Trade, uh, having a great conversation here. We've got one more segment for you. Please stay with us. We'll be back after these messages. Back soon. Thank you.